So instead of having a video with tons of new information and great, amazing news, this is more of a keep your eyes on the prize, uh, a keep patient kind of video. Um, and here's why. Um, everything is down right now. And this is actually everything being down right now is a great sign. Uh, why, you ask? Because... Every month so far up until now has followed a pattern. And this is not only Bitcoin, but all altcoins, all crypto is following this pattern throughout this bull run. And my simplest term terms for it is a way of explaining it, I guess I should say, is uh, in the beginning of every month and... On the 15th, in the middle of every month, everything skyrockets. All-time highs, new price, new great. It's awesome. Everyone's feeling it. Everyone's saying, you know, everyone's believing the hype. And then at the end of the month, everything's down. Now, this month had a lot more FUD than other months. That's why the downtrend started just after mid-may um now i don't like to go to reddit <laughs> for information but i was i was trying to google positive crypto news earlier today and an interesting article i'm gonna do this interesting article popped up that explained it better than i ever could in more detail um i'm gonna give credit this is from pm me plastic bads so 123 days ago, but obviously it still is relevant today. And he um, or she is saying that Bitcoin follows a pattern in bull markets. Now, I'm going to replace Bitcoin with all of crypto. Every altcoin does this pattern. And you should have a sense of relief after uh, I read this to you. So Bitcoin follows... A pattern number one. Oh, stop me if you've heard this before or if you've seen this before. Huge run up, getting everyone excited and loading up bags. Two goes up just a little bit more to get people leveraging and taking out loans. Sentiment is now Lambos and Moons. So this is where we were a couple weeks ago with Dogecoin, Shiba Coin, Akita Coin, just all these dog meme coins. I can even say pertaining to Safe Moon, uh, anything with Moon in the title, or Safe in the title. So three, sudden and immediate dump, wrecking leveraged long. So this just after the middle of the month, this happens. Um, and this is when the Elon SNL thing, and him saying he's not gonna Tesla's not gonna accept Bitcoin anymore. He was trashing Bitcoin. Four, rebound upwards to wreck shorts. Okay, so it goes back up a little bit, which it did happen. And second and much larger dump to destroy remaining paper hands. We are at this point right now, and we're at number six. Smart money, which is grayscale, microstrategy, and the whales accumulate. So this will happen right now. Um, it's... Uh, Second and much larger dump. Now all the internet marketers, not to mention names, all of the online gurus who are, they don't claim to be experts, but they talk about crypto every day. They're, a lot of them are getting tired and saying that they're shorting it, they're getting out, putting a fiat and waiting it to drop some more. And they're getting tired of it. So this is what's happening when the whales went to Basically, buy those shares at low premium prices. And then what happens is there's a slow and sudden rise um, as OTC goes up and whales buy from weak hands on exchanges. And this repeats. Now, I've been seeing this repeat every month. It was taken to a whole other level this month in May. But rest assured, if you follow these steps, now in my last video, I used to, I wouldn't do this with Cardano, I wouldn't do this with your top two or three. Now, you shouldn't have any emotion to any of these coins, 
But for me personally, the V-Chain, Cardano, and XRP, I wouldn't want to mess with this because what if starting in June, it goes up for three straight months, all-time high, and then that's it. And I'm waiting for it to drop after I committed all or some of it to Tether. Um, but I think I'm going to try this. Well, I did this with Tron um, in May. I think I'm going to try this with Digibyte and Holochain. So mid-June, Holochain, its all-time period high is about two and a half cents, maybe three cents. It might get up there. If it gets up even to two cents, I'm going to start converting at least half of that to Tether and just waiting till the end of June until it all comes crashing back down again. And we all, all start this over. So I'm thinking we're going to have this accumulation period for two, possibly three months. And then starting September, we're going to see Bitcoin just fly off the radar, fly skyrocket uh, for a couple weeks. And then what happens is Bitcoin has all-time highs for two, three weeks. And then it slowly starts to come down. And then all the altcoins follow it for a couple weeks, a couple months. And then that's it. It's the end of the bull run. So I'm waiting for different price targets. V-Chain hits between 2 and $3. I think I'm out. Cardano hits between 8 to $10 around that time. I'm taking out my profits. And I haven't taken profits out um, at all. Just Tron. And I put that... And I redistributed that, and then you can look at my last video to see where I see which cryptos I bought with my uh, try and money from 2018, and also a good sign that um, we're not in a bear market. Well, we're in a mini bear market, but the bull market's not over. From CoinDesk, um, they have an article: Bitcoin outflow from exchanges suggests confidence crypto route is over. So they're saying people, especially the whales, are taking their crypto off of the exchanges and putting them on their ledgers, their wallets, cold storage, whatnot, which means they're planning on holding. If more money, so in the month of May, I wasn't paying attention to this at all, but Coindesk was saying for the month of May, there was more money there's more transferring these this crypto, the, the Bitcoin, into the exchanges. And when that happens, it means people are planning to sell. But when they take it off the exchanges, people are planning to hold. So it's a good sign. Um, this article is saying when Bitcoin went from 5000 to $60,000, it was 13 straight months where the um, more Bitcoin was taken off the exchanges rather than putting on the exchange and this might start basically it's going to start it over so i think the the low of bitcoin is going to be about 30 32,000 and it's going to keep rising but i think um you know the end of may we're going to see a 30 32,000 bitcoin and then it's going to rise up to 40 42,000 it's going to start over again up until september so um i don't know i may just throw money in bitcoin because it's got to have a, at least a 6, 7x by the time this bull run is over. And there's another article I don't have. But yeah, I was explaining once Bitcoin, which I said before, has a one to two week period where it just whew, soars. That's where the start of the bull run is over after the alts follow it. So that's going to be the video for today. Keep it short today. Um, yep, I'm going to have another video soon, guys. Maybe tomorrow, um, definitely going to have uh, PCN, positive crypto news. Um, instead of all this negative, there's a lot of negativity um, on Twitter or on the markets, which means it's a good time to buy. So have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.